Hey traders, welcome back to your Forex Trading for Beginners video series. In today's video, in this video, we're going to talk about the sessions, so the Forex Trading sessions. Earlier on in the first video, I talked about the fact that the Forex markets, they're a 24 hour market. I also alluded to the fact that all of the different sessions aren't created equal. So just because it's a 24 hour market, if you're looking in particular, this goes for you guys that are looking to trade shorter term. So day trading, if you're looking at the minute charts, the five minute charts and things like that, there are actually better times that you want to be trading than others. So first of all, let's look at the different trading sessions that you have. So in a typical 24 hours, in a trading day, we it's widely accepted as there being three different sections, sections, sessions, all right? So three distinct sessions. The first one goes from about 12 o'clock, so 12 a.m. UK time. So we've got 12 a.m., okay? And it goes through to around eight, nine o'clock. So let's call it 9 a.m., UK time. So that's GMT in the winter and British summer time in the, in the summer, right? So let's just call it UK time. Now that is the Tokyo session. Okay. Tokyo or it's also can be known as the Asian session. Then we have from around eight o'clock in the morning UK time through to 5 p.m. UK time. So if we go 8 a.m through to around 5 p.m. UK time, we have what's known as the London session, okay? So we have the London or the European session. And then finally, from around one o'clock, so if we say 1 p.m., okay, through to 9 p.m., so through to 9 p.m. UK time, we have what's known as the New York session or the US session. So we've got the New York session. Great, fantastic. So we know when you know the various different trading centers around the world are open. However, why is this information important? Well, because we have different types of liquidity and different types of volatility at different times of day. So typically during the Tokyo session, so during the Asian session there, volatility is a lot lower. So if you're looking to trade breakout strategies and things like that, particularly with the European currency pairs, you're probably not going to get much follow through. So there's not gonna be a lot of movement there for you to be able to make money. You're probably best adopting more of a, a range trading strategy. So that is when the market comes down to lows, you buy lows and you sell highs, rather than buying through the highs in anticipation of selling back higher. Okay, so in the Asian session, typically it's much lower liquidity. There isn't as much movement. In the London session, between sort of 8 to 1 p.m., there is a lot of momentum. That's typically when you get a lot of breakout strategies. So in the London session there between, obviously the London session is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but typically as an active trader, as a day trader, you're going to find most movement between the hours of, let's say, 8 a.m. when London opens, through to around 10 a.m. And then after that, when the US market opens, again at around, let's say 1 p.m. through to around 3 p.m. Oops, that looks like a P. So 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So that's the London session. And then when the US session overlaps with the London session, that is when you're going to get the majority, the most of the majority of the volatility. So you're going to get the big momentum move. So if you're trading a breakout strategy, that's typically when it's going to make most money. So it's going to be in the opening of the UK session and then the opening of the US session. Now, why is that? Well, obviously that's when you've got a lot of overlap. So in that beginning part of the UK session, you've obviously got Asia is still open for a little while. And then in the opening, of the US session, you've got the UK open, you've got the European markets open, and you've also then got the US markets opening up as well. But what also tends to happen at those times is it coincides with the release of economic data.
So economic data, that is the employment numbers, the interest rate numbers and things like that. You don't have to know what they are right now in order to be able to make money trading. But it's interesting to understand what it is that's providing the catalyst for the markets moving. And that typically is what it is. So at, you know, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, UK time, you're going to get a lot of European data release, which is going to provide the catalyst for those momentum moves, for those breakout moves. And then when the US session comes online at around one o'clock, you'll get the US data, you'll get the Canadian data all released in and around that time, which provides the catalyst for the rest of the trading session. Because typically what happens is that obviously the markets are going to move in a particular direction. The fundamentals are going to drive it for the long term. The you know, the sentiment obviously is going to drive some of the more thematic uh, investing and trading. But essentially, traders, they will be waiting until the news is released for that for that particular day before they get involved in their positions. Because what they don't want to do is they don't want to take a position at eight o'clock if there's a big news announcement at 8.30 that could provide data that will tell the rest of the market to trade in the opposite direction. So what traders do is that they wait until the major announcement for that particular session has been released and then they start to take their trades, which is why you get momentum in and around those times. OK, so I hope that's starting to make sense. I hope things are starting to fall into place now. I know we haven't quite got to how do we go about analyzing the markets? How do we go about looking to identify our trades? But all of that is coming up in the next section of this video series here. We did need to get this fundamental stuff, this foundation stuff in place to make sure that you understand essentially what it is that you're trading. OK, so I hope you're enjoying this video series. If you do, obviously, make sure give these videos a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I haven't said that yet, but subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this stuff. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you soon.